वेलकम बैक इन जीव सिंह टेन ईयर्स के सॉल्यूशन के सीरीज में आपका स्वागत है आज इसका दूसरा वीडियो है और मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि पिछले एक से दो दिन के अंदर मैं सारी वीडियो डाल दूं सो so दैट कि 21 तारीख को होने वाले एग्जाम्स के लिए आप अपने आप को रेडी कर सको और एक क्विक रिविजन हो जाए आपका पेपर कोड मैंने टू को हैंडल लिया है एंड टू के सारे क्वेश्चन को मैं डिस्कस करने वाला हूँ यहाँ पे आपको क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर का कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन मिलेगा पीछे मैंने क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एफ का सोल्यूशन दिया था जो जावा प्रोग्रामिंग बेस्ड क्वेश्चन थे तो आज के वीडियो में हम आइए सारे सॉल्यूशंस को देखते हैं तो चलिए सबसे पहले क्वेश्चन नंबर 2019 की बात करते हैं और 2019 का जो सबसे पहला क्वेश्चंस है हम उसको लेके चलेंगे चलिए अब यहां पे मैं पेन स्टार्ट कर लेता हूं सो दैट या नाउ सो सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन जो है 2019 का वो आप देख सकते हैं आपके स्क्रीन पर दिखाई दे रहा है क्वेश्चन क्या कहता है कि वट विल बी डिस्प्ले इन जे टेक्सफिल वन जे टेक्सफिल वन में क्या दिखाई देगा वेन द फॉलोइंग कोड इज एक्सक्यूटेड जब सारे कोड एक्सक्यूट करेंगे तो सबसे पहले यहां पे देखिए क्या लिखा हुआ है इन टैक्स इक्वल टू थ्री वाई इक्वल टू सिक्स जेड इक्वल टू जीरो ठीक है तो दीज आर द इनिशियल वैल्यू ए एक्स ग्रेटर देन थ्री दिस कंडीशन इज फॉल्स बिकॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज थ्री हियर सो एक्स लेस देन फोर एंड वाई ग्रेटर देन सिक्स वाई एक्स लेस देन फोर दिस इज ट्रू बट दिस कंडीशन इज फॉल्स हियर दिस कंडीशन इज फॉल्स हियर एंड बिकॉज दिस इज फॉल्स सो इट मीन्स दैट This will be also not as cute. X greater than two. This condition is true. Y greater than equal to six. This condition is also true. So both condition is true. So this statement will as cute. Z is equal to Z plus three. And the value of Z is zero. So the value of Z become here three. Next, if X less than three, so this is false. Or y greater than six. This is also false. So this one will also not as cute. So what value it will print? It will print three in J text field one. तो इसका आंसर हो गया आपका थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चंस को देखते हैं कि री राइट द फॉलोइंग कोड आफ्टर करेक्टिंग एरर्स आफ्टर करेक्टिंग एरर्स एंड अंडरलाइन द करेक्शन मेड बाई मेड तो आइए सबसे पहले फर्स्ट लाइन में देखते हैं देर इज नो एरर इन दिस कोड ओके दिस इज करेक्ट थर्टी इक्वल टू सी वी कांट राइट बिकॉज वी हैव टू ऑलवेज यूज द वेरिएबल्स बिफोर द इक्वल टू साइंस सो सी इक्वल टू थर्टी वी हैव टू राइट फोर इक्वल टू ए अगेन दिस इज द एरर so a equal to four will come while do while and do both will not come together either i have to write here do or we have to write here while so i am thinking while is better so i am going to remove the do from here c greater than 10 this is correct a equal to a equal to a plus 5 this is a two equal to sign is there so we have to remove any one equal to from here you have to write a equal to a plus c and c equal to c plus 5 uh, c minus 5 semicolon and now the code is correct if anyone want to write the same with the do while loops in do have to write here do here now open curly braces now you have to write here a equal to a plus c c equal to c minus 5 and then close curly braces and here you have to write the y c greater than 10 and you have to put the same column here so two possible correction is here of this question in this way or in this way move on the next question what is the next question how many times will the following loop is cute int k equal to 7 okay the value of k is 7 i equal to minus 2 look at this value be careful do so i equal to i plus 2 so what is the new value of i 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 it is 0 so this is the new value of i k equal to k minus 1 this become 6 here what is the condition here while i less than equal to 6 means you have to execute this loop till the value of i is less than 6 so first time this condition is true so first time it is true it's going again here so again 0 plus 2 so this time it's become 2 here and 6 minus 1 so it become 5 here again condition because 2 is the less than 5 again condition is true so 2 plus 2 now it's become 4 Five minus one, it's become four. Four less than equal to four. This condition is again true. Again, it will go here. So look at this. First time it's enter. First time it's enter when the value of k become i become zero for the i zero and k five. This condition is true. This is the second time. This is the second time. Again. 0 plus 2 it's become 2 the value of 2 and the value of 4 this loop is again executed and this is the third time and 2 plus 4 4 is the condition 3 so this is the fourth times is going to execute so 4 plus 2 it is the 6 and 4 minus 1 it is the 3 condition is false it's coming out so how many times the loop will be executed four times here next how many times the alternative question is given here how many times will the following loop is cute so out of this two you have to solve any one questions so what is this for i equal to 2 i less than equal to 5 
plus i plus plus so i equal to 2 i less than equal to 5 i plus plus so this loop will be as there is error but you don't uh, ignore this error because it's asking the how many times so 2 to 5 this loop will be skewed 5 uh, 2 for 2 for 3 for 4 for 5 so for this value this loop will be executed so this is again 4 times so 4 times this loop will execute okay so write the output in ZX field 1 when the following code is executed. So k and sum, sum is equal to 0 here, k is a 2, 2 less than equal to 5. So loop will be executed for 2, 3, 4, 5, means value of k is 2, 3, 4, 5. Now look at here, what is the value of n? k equal to k minus 2 multiply 3. So first multiply, 2 multiply 3, this is 6. 2 multiply 3 this is 6 and what is the value of 2 k 2 minus 6 that is the minus 4 the first time the value of n is minus 4 sum equal to sum plus n it is 0 0 minus 4 so the value of sum is the first time 4 only now it's going on there the value of k is 3 this time 3 to just 6 6 minus 3 again minus uh, sorry 3 minus 6 3 minus 6 again minus 3 so the value of this is minus 3 here minus 4 plus minus 3 it become minus 7 here okay now k becomes 4 here and then 4 minus 6 6 uh, sorry 4 minus 6 so it's become minus 2 minus 2 plus minus uh, minus 7 plus minus 2 this become minus 9 here and now this is 5 so 5 minus 6 this become minus 1 so minus 9 plus minus 1 it's become minus 10 here and at last this loop will be terminate and the value will printed is minus 10 this is the answer of this question this is the alternative question of the same write the output in jtx will 1 when the following code is executed now again k is equal k is equal to nothing is given here n equal to 0 sum equal to 0 so now i'm writing here k k is equal to 2 n equal to 0 and sum equal to 0 so we have to print the jtx will 1 okay so look while k less than equal to 5 again this loop will be executed till the value of k is the less than equal to 5 and the value of k is increases by 2 here so i'm writing the first value is 2 next value is 4 and next value is 6 so it means this loop will be executed for only these two value just i'm executing this so fast okay so 2 2 plus 2 is a 4 5 and 6 for the 6 this condition is false the possible value for k is only 2 and 4 now look at the n so initially k is 2 so what happened k plus 4 k plus 4 yani ki 2 plus 4 this is 6 the value of n sum is equal to sum plus n this is also 6 k is equal to k plus 2 now this is 4 4 plus 4 k is the 4 here so now 4 plus 4 this become 8 8 plus 6 this become 14 and now 6 uh, k becomes 6 here and the condition is false so loop will terminated here and loop terminated and it will print the value of n and what is the value of n here 8 so answer of this question is 8 move on the next question write the value of i and k after execution of the following code so i j k i j k the value of i is 2 j is 8 k is 6 now come at here i is equal to i plus 4 i is equal to i plus 4 so 2 plus 4 it's become 6 k is equal to k plus i so k is 6 6 plus 6 it becomes 12 now check the condition i less than j i less than j value of i is 6 value of j is 8 so this condition is true here if this is true so it will go again here again this statement will execute the value of i is 6 here 6 plus 4 now the value of i becomes 10 here k plus i the value of k is 12 here so 12 plus 10 it's become 22 look at this this is 10 okay and now i less than j so because 10 less than j this condition is false here so you the loop will terminate it and what is the value of i and k they asking the value of i the value of i is equal to 10 and value of k is equal to 22 this is the answer of this question got it so now move on the next question so before going to move i'm going to clear the screen so just erase all the options okay now move on the next slide and this is the question for 2018 this question is for 2018 so look at here this is the 2018 question okay so the first question is that identify the error in the following code and this is the one marks question everywhere marks is mentioned so you can look at there also okay, what marks you will get so the first you have to identify there is no error in this statement this curly braces is correct but there is a problem with this two case situation you know that the switch case is only one 
works either with integer data or character data either with integer constants or character constants so this is not allowed here so these two are the error here rest all is okay so you have to mention this error keep case the case value cannot be float it's either integer or character constant move on the next question question number b is the two marks question so what will the display in j option pane when the following code is executed means after execution of this code what output will come in the j option pane it's the show message dialog means you have to show the value of a here okay what is the value of a here after execution of this loop so the value of a is initially 5 value of b is initially 2 condition is a less than 20 so now i'm writing here a is equal to 2 b is equal to sorry a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2 so now a is equal to a plus b so what is this so a is the 5 b is the 2 so the new value of a is 7 b is equal to 2 so i'm writing here 5 and the value is this increase so 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 because and it becomes 7 minus 2 and it's become 5 so the new value is 5 again you are going to a less than still a is the less than 20 so condition is true so now a plus b this is 7 plus 5 and it's become 12 here the value of a is 12 here and this is 12 minus b so it's become 7 here again you are going because 12 is still less than 20 so you have to come inside and this time a is equal to a plus b so it is 12 plus 7 and this become 19 here and 19 minus 7 so this become 12 means it becomes 12 here the value of b is 12 here but a is 19 here condition is still true so again you are going so 19 plus 12 and this becomes 31 and 31 minus 31 minus 12 and it's become 19 so what is the options the in j option a you have to show the value of a and this is the last value of a so the output of this question is 31 write the code given below using for loop instead of while loop so you have to change the loop so how you can do this this question you will solve in very easy way so this is the initialization statement i'll write this statement in this way now i'm start the for statement and i'm writing here i equal to one you may write this whole statement here in place of i you can write int i equal to one there is no problem next you have to put the condition because you know that the first is an initialization inside the four and then you have to write down the condition and after condition you have to write the update statement and this is the update statement how I can say this is the update statement because I is the only control variable which control the execution of the loop so I have to check the statement which tell us that the value of a control variable is going to change by using this statement so according to me this is the update statement so what you have to do you have to write here i equal to i plus one then after then after this is the condition this is the body of the loop so nothing to do with this body you have to simply copy this body in the same way in the way it is written here in same way and put the close curly braces and this is the solution of this question now move on the next question before going to move i'm going to clear the screen because so many things are showing here so just erase all links on the side and move on the next this is the next question for you question number D. look at the question number d what the question number d is asking from you write the value that will be stored in variable a after execution of the following code if means you have you have to uh, write down the value that is stored in variable a so the initial value of a there's a two situation here and that's why it's a given two marks question is the initial value of a is 8 and the initial value of a is 10 okay now so that's uh, uh, just i'm checking this first First, I am assuming the value of A is 9. So, B is equal to 9. A greater than 9. No, this condition is false because B is 9 and A is both is 9. So, A equal to and this statement will not execute. This statement is not written inside the if. This is the general statement. So, in every condition, this statement will execute. Either the value of A is uh, 8. Sorry, the value of A is 8 here sorry so in both conditions this statement will is cute so what is this a is equal to a plus 2 so 8 plus 2 it's become 10 so the value of a when the a is this the value of a is become 10 
Now the next condition when the value of a is 10. So what happened? This condition is true here because b is 9. So 10 greater than 9 is this condition is true. And because this condition is true, this statement will execute. And what is the statement? a is equal to a plus 5. So 10 equal to 10 plus 5 means a equal to 10 plus 5. The value of a becomes 15 here. And after this, this statement will also execute because I told you that this one is the general statement which will execute in any situation. So 15 plus 2. Now a is equal to 17. So what is the final value of a? In this case, the final value of a is 17 so the output answer of this question 10 and 17 move on the next question the next question is e and this is also carry two marks here so it will give you two marks if you can make the this question correctly please pay your attention carefully what will the values of i and z after the following code is executed means we have to find out the value of i and the value of z so int i equal to 0. What is this? i equal to 0. This is the initial value z equal to 10 and this is the initial value of z. Now the do while loop is here and what the condition i less than 10. So next check i is equal to 0, i equal to i plus 2. So this become instead of 0 now it's become 2. Z minus minus so Z becomes 9 condition is I less than 10 okay so this is true again this condition is true so it will move here 10 plus 2 so now this time uh, uh, 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 so it becomes 4 Z minus minus this is become 8 condition is again true because 4 less than 10 now 4 plus 2 this becomes 6 this becomes 7 condition is again true so again it's going this so 6 plus 2 this becomes 8 and this become 6 here condition is again true so now 8 plus 2 this is 10 and this is 5 and now condition is false it's coming out so this one is the last value of so you can say the value of i is 10 and the value of z is 5 this is the final output of this code okay so move on the next question so what is the next question of this what is the next question of this? The next question is write the value of R and S. This is the question of 2017 and the first question write the values of R and S after execution of the following code. After execution of the following code you have to write the value of R and S. So and this question is the one mark question only. So P is equal to 11, Q is equal to 21, R no value given, S no value given. Now this is the pre increment and this is the post increment. And this is also the post increment. So you have to understand the difference between pre increment and post increment. As you know that the pre increment means first increase then use and post increment means first use then increase. So according to this according to this the value of this statement what happened first it will increase the value of Q and then the new value is given to R. So the value of Q is 21 by using this increment operator it becomes 22 and the same value is given to r so now it is 22 and r is also 22 r is also 22 now the s equal to p plus plus and this is the post increment it means first use and then increase so what is the use the value of 11 is given to s so s becomes here 11 and now the p increase by 1 so p becomes 12 here <coughs> And this is the R plus plus and because there is no initialization statement is written here it means here is the single statement is written it means you have to increase the value of R by 1 so value of R is value of R is 22 so it will increase and it become 23 so at last what is the value of P the value of P is 12 the value of Q is 22 the value of R is 23 and the value of S is 11 only so this one is the final results final value and they ask you the value of r and s so you will write this output on the screen so next is the question number b and this question carries two marks for you so what will be the display in jtx field 1 and jtx field 2 after executing the following code so what will the output so what do you have to do int and digits it's a written here and digits so and digit is 0 and equal to 35 and greater than 12 
n greater than 12 and this condition is false while n greater than 12 sorry this is true because 35 is greater than 12 n digit is equal to n digit plus 1 and n equal to n minus 10 so n digit value is increased by 1 but initially the value of n is 35 so this condition is true and so the value of n digit increased by 1 and it becomes 1 now n equal to n minus 10 so this value is also decreased by 10 and it becomes 25 again 25 is greater than 12 so this value is again increased by 1 it becomes 2 and this one is decreased the value of n is decreased by 10 so this one is becomes 15 15 is again greater than 12 so this value is again n digit value is again increased it becomes 3 and n minus 10 the value of n is again decreased by 10 so it becomes 5 and condition is false here for the 5 condition is false they asked ZX will 1 and ZX will 2. So in ZX will 1, it's showing the N digit. So it's so 3 here. In text will, it's showing the N. So it's so 5 here. So this is the output of 3 and 5. Write the value of C after executing the following code. Means they ask you, okay, what is the value of C after executing the following code? Means if you execute this code, what output you will get? So int p, int r equal to 8, int odd number, so c equal to 0. So initial value of r is 8, rest all variable, initial value of c is 0, rest p and odd number is not initialized here. So look at this here, p is equal to 1, p less than r, the value of r is 8, so we can write here 8 here, p is equal to p plus 3, the value of p is increased by 3. So one condition is true, it came here, p mod 2, p mod 2 means it's try to divide the two and store the remainder in an odd number and because one is the odd number so the output of odd number is either one or zero only because whenever you divide any number by two the only two possibilities either you get zero or you get one if odd number is equal to 1, so this condition is true, c is equal to c plus 1, so the value of c increased by 1, initially it is 0, so c becomes 1 here. C become 1 here. Now it's come to increase the value of P by 3. 1 plus 3. So P become 4 here. 4 less than 8. Again it try to divide by this. And this time odd number is 0. Odd number is 0 because 4 is divisible. So remainder is 0. This condition is false. It's okay. Again it's going to here. 4 plus 3. 7. 7 less than 8. So again 7 try to divide by 2. And this time this is 1. And this is 1. So this condition is true. So so this counter will increase by 1 and it becomes 2 again it's going here 7 plus 3 10 and for this 10 this condition is false so loop is outside they are asking the value of c after executing so value of c is 2 so this is the answer of this question so this is the answer of this question okay so move on the next slide so what is the next slide is here this is again the question number 2017 here write the value that will be stored in a variable t now you have to find the value of t after the execution of the following code how many times will the loop execute so this is carry two marks question so look at here in sum equal to zero score equal to zero double t okay so value of sum is initially zero value of a score is initially zero double t okay no value is given do a loop is here and this loop is skewed till a score less than equal to three a score is equal to a score plus one so this is zero zero plus one it is one sum equal to sum plus a score so zero plus one it is also one okay a score is one sum is equal to sum a score less than three it's a two again it's going a score plus one one so a score becomes two sum plus a score so one plus two it's become three this is again less than because it's taking the value of a score and it is two here again two plus one three three plus three six and again the score is less than it's not less than but it is equal to so this condition is true again it increase four and this six plus four it's become ten this is 10, this is 4, and now this condition is false. Sum equal to, uh, t equal to sum divided by 3. So whenever you divide the 10 by 3, because both are the integer, you will not get the answer 3 point something like this. You'll get only 3. So the value of t is 3 here. The value of t is 3 here. So, and it's asked the final output. So the final result of this, final answer is 3. This is the final answer of this question. Move on the next question. This is the question number E. The following code has errors. There are some mistakes made by the type 
typist <laughs> rewrite the correct code underlining all the correction made means you have to write down the correct code int j there is no error int i equal to 15 there is no error int flag equal to 1 there is no error while j equal to 2 j less than this is a big error they are trying to write the syntax of for loop but they are using here while loop so i'm going to change it instead of while i'm writing the for here the first thing second thing j equal to 2 so we have to put the semicolon here we have to put the semicolon here j less than i no problem j plus plus no problem if i mod j i mod j is equal because you are using the if and this is the conditional statement so instead of single equal to you have to use double equal to to compare the value this is the wrong use of double equal to because you want to initialize flag equal to so single equal to is required here break is okay this curly brace is okay this curly brace is okay so how many errors there are two marks question always remember that if it is two marks question the possible error is four the possible error is four error number one error number two error number three and error number four so there are four errors and this is the errors you have to write the code again by making corrections next is the 2016 question this is the 2016 question be careful here when is a false statement preferred over switch statement you have to write this answer in a one mark answer so it's asking when if else statement is preferred if else if a statement preferred over switch so you can ask when the complex condition is required for situation situation number two when you have to compare the string value when you have to compare the float value this is the second situation third third situation is when we have to make the comparison is less than or equal to less than greater than greater than equal to less than equal to not only equal to because you know that switch is only allowed equal to comparison with integer and character data types but if else allowed to do the comparison with any types of data type and any types of the comparison so that is the advantage and for this purpose we have right what is the purpose of break a statement? So break a statement is a jump statement and that is responsible to terminate the loop. That is responsible to terminate the loop. So execution of loop get terminated when we are using the break statement. Okay. What will the display in JTX field 1? What will display in JTX field 1 and JTX field 2? What value you have to display after the following code is executed? Look at this. This is the two marks question. So t s s equal to 2 no value for t now look at here this is 4 multiply s plus plus divide look at this the multiplication and increment operator both are here so increment have the higher precedence so it will try to first increase the value of this so what is the value of s here 2 so 4 multiply 2 first use then increase it's saying that first use then increase so 4 to the 8 and 8 divide 4 this is 4 the value of t is 4 but s is increased here so add becomes 3 here so this is the answer 4 and 3 write the contents of jtx field 1 jtx field 2 jtx field 3 and 4 when the following statements are executed means after execution of this what the output will come in field 1 and 2 this is as str java how many characters are there 4 characters str concat study means we are adding the study at the end of the java so the value of x is equal to java study without any space it will not give any space by himself only so don't be confused java study so now jtx will one x dot length it's asking the x dot length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is 9 okay this is 9 x to uppercase means it's trying to convert the whole string in uppercase so it will write java study sorry s t u d y study okay s dot sub string uh, x dot sub string 2 comma 5 what is the meaning of this from second index position to fifth index position means fifth will be ignored so fourth index position and this is from x so look at the index this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 three four five so what it will do it will just take two three four so what is this this is the vast so it will show here vast math dot round now it's trying to round this numbers okay and 7.8 is here so it's trying to round no nothing is mentioned here so it means that small point we have to remove so 7.8 become 8 only 
This is the answer of this question. This is the answer of this question. This is the answer of question. So four output and two marks answer you will get. Uh, two marks you will get if you writing the correct answer. This is the second two marks question. Read at the following code using while loop int sum. So this statement you have to copy same. Now this statement you have to change because three parts are there: initialization, condition, and updation. So and for loop will be updated with the while. So you have to write here while. And inside the while you will write I greater than one, but before this you have to write int i equal to nine, and then open curly braces. Now you copy this entire code same to here, and at the end of this code write i minus minus close the curly braces. Again, I am repeating. Copy this line. First line you have to copy. This whole line you have to copy. This line you have to copy. This line you have. This whole line you have to copy. This statement will be right before the while statement because it is the initialization statement. This condition will come inside the while. This update statement will come after the body of loop. So here you will put until one, two, three, four. These all statements you have to write here. Next question: The following code has errors. Read at the correct and code underlining the all the correction made. So there is an error here in this code, and it is also the two marks question. So int x equal to ten. Int x equal to ten. Int y equal to fifty. Do so. In this statement, there is no error. This statement, there is no error. But here is the error, and this error is the com semicolon. So only do will come. This semicolon will not come. No error. X plus five equal to x. You can't write. You have to write x equal to x plus five. Y y minus five equal to y. You can't write. You have to write y is equal to y minus five. And while x greater than less than equal to y, this is correct. But one curly braces is required. So this one is the Correct answer. हाँ जी. Move on the next slide. So next slide is the question number two thousand fifteen. हाँ. So what is this? The following code has some errors. Rewrite the code underlining the all the correction made. So int return int interview interview. There is no error in this line. Return equal to integer dot pass int. Get x field one dot get x. There is no error. Uh, error we have to find interview is equal to integer dot pass int. Get x field two dot get x. No error. If return less than eighty. This is the error. Java does not allow the OR statement in this way. In this way, you have to write. First thing. Second thing. The open parentheses here and close here. Open here, close here. So we need one more here. Okay, to group the conditions. There is no error here. System dot out dot print ln not selected. Not selected is a string. So it must be written inside the double quotes. It must be written inside the double quotes. Yeah. Else, there is an error between the here. This else is the keyword, so always written in small letter, and this semicolon will not come. Okay, no error, no error. System dot out print ln selected, no error. Okay, so how many errors are there? Error number one, error number two, error number three, error number four. Four errors there, and you will get two marks. How many times will the following loop is queued? <coughs> Z is equal to seven, sum equal to zero, and do this. So sum equal to sum plus z. So zero plus seven. So sum becomes seven here. Z equal to z plus two. So z becomes nine here. System dot out. There is a mistake. So ignore this mistake. Z. It will print the value of z. So it will print here nine. Okay. After this, now uh, it's come and check the value of z is less than twelve. So value of z is less than twelve. Condition is true. One time loop executed. Now you are going for the second time. Second time sum plus z. The value of z is nine, so seven plus nine, it's become sixteen. Z plus two, it's become eleven, and it print eleven here. Means in a another line, it will print eleven, not in the same line. Then again, z is less than twelve. This condition is true. So first time executed, second time it's executed. First time here, second time here, and now it's going for the third time. It's going for the Third time, so sixteen sum plus z sixteen value of sum is sixteen eleven. It's a twenty seven twenty seven eleven plus two. It's a thirteen. It will print the value of thirteen here, and then this check the condition, and this is a false. So one two three. This loop will be executed three times. How many times? 
three times. Move on the next question. Rewrite the following program code using if else if instead of switch statement. A string remainder, it's okay. Code integer dot passing, it's okay. Switch code. Now we have to write the coding with the help of if else statement. I'm just making a proper change here. You don't start this code from here. Just change the code. This line not required, this statement not required, this statement not required, this statement not required, this statement not required. This is not required, 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 and this is not required. So first two line you have to copy and after this you have to write here if code equal to equal to one and inside this you write this statement then else if code equal to equal to 2 and then write this code here else if code equal to equal to 3 then write this statement and else and then write this statement. So what I am doing, instead of case 1, I am writing if code equal to 1, remove the column, remove the break, break again, then, then copy the same line just below of this, then else if code equal to 2, now re remove the column and write the, the same statement here and then break, break will be removed from here, else if code equal to 3, copy the same statement, remove the break, remove the column, else rem is equal to this, this, so this is the answer of this question. Write the value of sum and t after execution of the following code. int sum comma t sum equal to 27 t equal to 3 sum equal to sum plus 2 multiplied plus plus t so it will increase the value of t by 1 so value of t is 3 it's become 4 2 multiply 4 it's become this statement will execute and it becomes 8 sum plus 8 value of sum is 27 plus 8 and it's become 35 so this is the answer of 35 write the value of sum the value of sum is 35 value of sum is 35 write the value of t the value of t is 4 okay move on the next question what will be the contents of zx will 1 zx will be 2 after executing the following code means after execution of this code what is the output so s is equal to best r is equal to luck z is equal to z is equal to r dot concat s so the value of r and s is added and it become best luck best luck without any space okay got it so now zx will want set text z so it will print best luck here best luck here and r dot two uppercase so it will convert the r so luck will be printed in capital letter so this and this is the output move on the next slide what is the next slide this is the 2014 question the video is going to be lengthy but don't mind please look at the see the complete video and if you are able to see this that i am giving you the assurance you are able to score 2 plus 2 plus 1 5 plus 5 10 and the previous video i and uh, the previous one that links is given in the description you can look at there and that is also the 10 year solution if you are able to understand that it means you are going to secure 15 marks from java 16 15 to 16 marks from the java and this is not a less this is the good marks for you Define the object oriented programming. What is the object oriented programming? A programming is based on the object. Means everything think about the object. Every object has, is the identifiable entity which having their own attributes and behaviors. Okay. So object oriented, the programming based on the object which and the object is the identifiable entity which having their own attributes and behaviors. So remember this thing. Move on to the next question. Read at the following Java code using switch case statement. Again, you have to write the switch case statement and this is very easy. Go, this line you have to copy same change the this statement something you have to add here and what you have to add here i'm just writing instead of this statement instead of this statement you write here switch option this much you have written then open curly braces now case one colon and after this this statement will write and after this write break now remove this hole till here put the colon remove this also and you write here case 2 colon remove this hole and then in include a break statement here again remove this hole 
राइट केस थ्री पुट द कॉलन राइट द सेम स्टेटमेंट एंड इंक्लूड द ब्रेक आफ्टर दिस स्टेटमेंट रिमूव दिस होल राइट केस फोर कॉलन सेम स्टेटमेंट एंड गिव द ब्रेक एंड एट द एंड इंस्टीड ऑफ एल्स यू राइट डिफॉल्ट put the colon same statement and close curly braces don't forget to give this open curly braces and this close curly braces maximum time students are doing the mistake in this and they forget to write the close curly braces okay what will be the value of x1 after the execution of the following code what will the value of x1 after execution of the following code a string x1 spread x2 piece so x1 is having a spread x2 having the piece x1 equal to x2 dot concat x1 means they try to add the spread at the end of the piece a new string is generated and given to the x1 so the value of x1 gets changed and it's become it's become piece spread what is this piece spread so is it writing gandhi hogi <laughs> adjust kar lena please this is the piece spread okay so what is the value of this the answer of this piece spread okay move on the next question write the question to make the j trifle disabled so what you have to write here j tax field 1 dot set enable false set enable False. Then, what will the display in text text area after execution the code g equal to one j text area one dot set text integer dot two string g plus plus. So it will increase the value of g and then give the g. So it will give two here. Okay, and it is the set text g equal to g plus one three. Now g is the value of g less than five. Again, it's what happened. This is the set text. This is not the append. So what happened? Whenever this condition is two is going inside, and now this time this will write three in the text area because two plus plus one. So it's become three. Two plus plus one. It's become sorry. This is three. So it's become four here. Four. So it's print the four there. G plus one. So four plus one five. Condition is true. Now it's going on five plus plus. So it's become print six here. And this become five six plus one seven. The condition is false. So finally you can say in text area. See this is the text area. It shows six. Why? Because the whatever is shown by the this statement previously, those all are erased due to the set text. Give the output of the following Java code. What is the output? A string name equal to Chennai Express. Okay. Name dot length. Count the number of characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So how many characters are there? Fifteen characters are there. So this is the value of T N. T N value is fifteen. So I can write here T N is fifteen here. What is that? Uh, sorry, T M. It's not. Tn, it's a m. Tm. Now, 80 minus tm. So, 80 minus 15 is this. 18 my 80 minus 50 is 65. 70 plus 7, 80. So, tm. So, what is the value of tm? Tm value is 15. And what is the value of tn? Tn value is 65. So, it will show this two value 15 and 65. Move on the next slide. This is the question number 2013. And because I am not able to get the questions on the internet, so I'll just get the solve as exercise there. So I am right showing this here. What will the jet contents of jet text area one and jet text field one after execution of the following statement? Jet text area one set text just t another day slash t slash n. So what happened due to this just will be show here due to this slash t cursor is jumps moves gives some space another will come here and this slash n move the cursor down and day will be printed. A string subject. This string must be capital. A string subject. I B informatics practices set length subject dot length plus ten. So subject dot length is the twenty one. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven for a space. Twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty. So it's a twenty. Uh, two 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 four 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 two six. Six to eight, three eleven, one twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, twelve plus four, sixteen plus three, nineteen plus twenty one. So twenty one plus ten, thirty one. 
What will the read and the following code using if a statement a string is given in code in teaser dot pass in text field one day. So just look at this. The same code is copied here. Instead of switch code, I'm writing here if code equal to zero. Okay. Else if code equal to one. Else if code equal to two. And this and then break is removed. So break is nowhere there. Colon is removed. This only this much statements are copied same to same. Look at there. Move on the next slide. So what is this? Observe the following code carefully and find which statement will never get executed in the code. Int t equal to one do t greater than three means you have to check t is equal to one. So this condition is false. So this statement will not execute. Uh, else jtx will pass t plus plus three. 3 means 1 plus 3, 4, 4 less than this. Again, it's checking greater than 13. So again, this code is not as cute. So this statement will not as cute. To make the ZX field non-editable, set text, set editable is false. Okay. What will display in text field and text field 2 after execution of the following code? Last for second, last equal to first plus second plus plus. So it will do the first this. Use and increase. So 5 plus 3, 8. Last will get 8, but second becomes 6. Okay, last is 8, but second becomes 6. So here last it's 8 and second is 6. So, okay. What will be the contents of str1, str2 after the following code is executed? str2, str1, str1 is equal to dear friend is the and str2 is equal to hello str2 dot content. So hello dear friend. So this is the hello dear friend. But no space will come. It will be between hello and dear. str2 is still hello. Move on the next question. This is a question number 2012. And what the question, what message will you display after execution of the following code? This is the two marks question. Age 64, relaxation is four mark. A body age, age minus relaxation, 60 minus 64. So it is 60 here. Body age is less than 60. This condition is false because it is 60. It is not less than. So it's move here and it will print the message eligible. What message display? Eligible. Read at the following program using if a statement. So switch. So this is C. It's saying to write the if a statement. So how you will write? Copy the same code here. Then you will write if case uh, equal to equal to zero and copy the same statement amount equal to bill semicolon up uh, because it's saying only if a statement. So I'm not going to write else here. Case equal to equal to one amount equal to bill if case equal to equal to three amount equal to bill and default yani key else is there so we have to write here else and uh, because it's saying the if and this is given the default here so this is a very much problem for you so what you will write here uh, it's better we will use else here because the code is giving something other demand so you can write here amount equal to bill uh, be careful this says statement there is a mistake here we have to write amount equal to bill and amount this is the 0 0.9 and B is the capital so multiply 0 0.9 here multiply 0 0.8 here and this is the same here so this way you will write okay I'm going to clear this uh, because in the next question it shows some confusion so 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 it is all X. Move on the next question. How many times does the following loop get executed? This is the one marks question. Five less than sixty. K is the less than five. So uh, five less than sixty. This thirty six. Sorry, this condition is true. K plus six. So six plus five. It's become eleven. Eleven. This condition is true. Again, eleven plus six. Seventeen for seventeen. For seventeen. Also, this condition is true. So seventeen plus six. So it's become 23, condition is again true, it's become 29, condition is true, 35, condition is again true, and then it's become 41, now condition is false. So first for the 5, second for the 11, third for the 17, fourth for this, fifth for this, sixth for this. So six times the loop will be executed. What will we display in ZX area 1? Great. Slash n is there, so it will print in this way. I'm writing here great and now slash n so country will come down country great country and slash t so space will come India great country 
India. This is the output of ZX India. What will be values of variable M and N after the execution of the following code P Q is equal to 0, P equal to 1, P less than 4, P plus plus. P is equal to 1, P less than 4, P plus plus, or Q plus equal to P, Q is equal to 0, P is equal to 1 here, so Q plus equal to P, Q become 1 here, Q minus minus, so Q become 0 here. Now P plus plus, so P become 2 here, and Q plus 2, so because Q is 0, so 0 plus 2, it's become 2 here, minus minus, it's become 1, now P become 3 here, and 3, 3, so 1 because q is the 1 here so 1 plus 3 and it's become 4 here and then q minus minus q become 3 here p plus plus 4 condition is still true because it's a less than equal to so 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 it's become 7 and now it's a 6 so finally q is 6 here and they ask the value of m and n i don't know where is the value of n m n so I, it's better you have to write the value of p so value of p after this it becomes 5 so value of p is 5 value of q is 6 this is the m and n i'm not able to find it here so there is a problem in this question because i have taken the questions from the downloaded i don't know is the mistake is there or not given a string of z p having the value of 68000 as a string stored in obtain the output so salary dot length that is a 5 plus integer dot in salary so 5 plus what happened this whole r this is the string and this will give the integer value and this is a string so if this and this is this is an integer value so do you think that they are going to add these all values no they are going to concatenate this value because it's a string also the all are converted and you will get five six eight zero zero this is the output of this code move on the next 2011 and what will be display in zx field one after executing the following code int m equal to 16 m equal to 16 is correct m is equal to m plus one so it becomes 17 here m less than 15 yeah m is not less than 50 so it will integer integer out to m plus 15 so m 17 plus 15 is 32 so it's pin 32 Rewrite the following program using the switch statement. So again, you have to write here switch. Uh, I'm writing this code for you, switch code. Then you have to write here case equal to, sorry, no is equal to will come case one colon. And then you have to write here month equal to January, double quotes will come. And then break if you have to write, put the semicolon here. Again, case two. And this time you write here month equal to February. I'm writing in short part and then you add the break. Okay, then case three, case four, and at last case three, case four, and at last you write default. Okay, in same way you like this case one and two, you have to write case three, and then you have to write here month equal to no match, no match, and then Close this so this way you can do this this way you can do this whatever the display in text area one after executing because again text area this is the serious c so it will print c v s e slash and final so final will come final exam will come here slash t i p c v s e final exam i p the following code have the some error the following code have some error and uh, now I'm going to erase some parts of this screen. So I'm taking the eraser here and I'm erasing this, 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 this only I'm erasing because, okay, I can erase the whole, but I'm not erasing the whole. I'm erasing this is, okay. So, chalo, okay. Now I'm taking this pen and the following code has some errors. Rewrite the code after underlying the errors. Int, this is the error here. You have to write the int in a small letter. K is equal to 2, okay. So, equal to 0 is okay. Okay. And this semicolon will not come here. Comma will come. Sum equal to k is no problem. K plus equal to 2, there is no problem. While k this condition is wrong here you have to write while k less than equal to 20 in this way and then semicolon j turns j text will one integer means here we have to write here we have to write j text will one dot set text means here you have to include dot set 
text and then you will write integer to a string in this way so this this whole statement you have to uh, means this parenthesis is given but jtxp one dot set text this statement you have to add here so this is the solution of this question so now last question is of this given the string object namely subject having values 123 this is a string value what will result in subject dot length it will give 3 plus integer dot percent it is the 1 2 3 but because this double quotes is there so whole things are going to convert in a string so it will concatenate and it's give 3 1 2 3 this is the output as a string following code has some errors rewrite the code after underlining the errors so error is in this line there is no error in this line there is no error here is the error i is declared as a capital letter and i is written as a small so i am going to make it capital i am going to make it capital letter okay a step is plus equal to 5 here the comma will not come here semicolon will come some plus a step some plus equal to a step there is no error in this jtx area one dot show text there is no show text method this is the set text so you have to write here set text plus some rest there is no error all codes are okay so this is the last i hope you enjoy this video i know this video is very lengthy but it is a very helpful for you if you are going to use this video for the coming exam purpose definitely you will get benefit of this uh, i hope you all have subscribed my channel if you like the video if you like my efforts don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe it's just motivates me also okay thank you bye bye have a nice day all the best